Well, hello YouTube and welcome back to Retired for Life. What a beautiful day it is today. So I've been out working in the shop for a little bit, trying to get things tidied up. As you can see, the snow is disappearing really, really quickly. So, and it's still very, very early March. It's just unbelievable that it's, uh, that it's pretty much gone already. I can hear geese in the distance. So they know it's done. They're coming back. So we'll uh, just finish up a couple of things in the shop and then we need to get out to the storage dome because I want to start that sawmill up real soon. But my drying tent up there is just about full. So I need to uh, try to do something with one of the storage domes here to make room and start putting lumber in there. I am going to start using quite a bit of it, but I first want to try to get as much sawn up as I can. So the shop looks better, tidy again, and I don't have to have the heater on. <laughs> So I'll probably put the heaters away very shortly, get them out of here, and then we'll see what goes on next. All right, let's have a look in here. So this is the dome I'm gonna use. So I'm a little torn as to how I'm going to do this. So we're gonna, uh, Take some measurements and try to figure out what's the best way to handle this. So I'm going to have a bunch of 10 footers and then lots of 8 footers and a lot of it is going to be 2 by 6. 2 by 6 and 1 by 6. So let's let's just do some measuring here and I'll see what I can figure out. All right folks there we are we're all set up. I've got enough of an alleyway down through the center here for my uh, lumber cart to get through. I've got 10 footers uh, set up to go on this side. And as I was saying, all of those 10 footers will be two by sixes. And then I've got the uh, eight footer set up here and a spot at the end where I can park the lumber cart. Uh, so, the eight footers are going to be a combination of uh, two by six and one by six. As I'm going to use the one by six and laminate them together with construction screws and liquid nail and make them uh, longer in areas where I need long ones. So I have one more construction project here that I want to get done. Um, I do need to make a skid to put my skidoo on. Or snowmobile, I should say. It's not a skidoo. And then I want it tucked back in over here. But I need to kind of fill this in. But I've got to put the grader box back on the tractor and kind of scrape this down smooth so I can get the uh, skid that I'm going to make in here. So we'll take some measurements and put the snowmobile away. Wasn't much of a season, but you know, we got out a, a couple of times and had some fun. First things first, I want to get the uh, snowblower off the back of the tractor so I can put the grader box on. It seems bizarre that I'm doing this already but let's get it off. I need to shovel some of this snow out of the way to make room for the snow blower because it, it sits just over here. So one of my last little jobs here is to uh, get the snowmobile properly put away. And as I mentioned earlier, I had issues with it sitting on the ground. So I have a really good cover for it and that has worked well, 
but I want to get it off the ground. So I'm going to, I'm making this platform here. So I'm about four foot six at the front, gives me extra room for the skis uh, and whatnot. And I'm uh, two foot six at the back, because of course this, it narrows down quite a bit at the back. So we'll continue uh, getting these boards in place here. All right, we got a few more boards to cut. And we'll keep going at it here. Seems I just get the shop cleaned up and then I have to make a mess. Well, okay folks, there is our snowmobile platform all done and ready. So the next thing I need to do is smooth out and level the spot where this platform is going to go. And then of course, as I mentioned earlier, I've got to oil this up quite well. Uh, so it's protected while it's sitting on the ground and we'll get it in place and get this out of here. And that gets us another step along to uh, being organized and getting ready to start the sawmill. All right, that's going to be it for today. So we'll see you guys in the morning. Okay, good morning, folks. We are back out in the shop here looking at our snowmobile skid. So it's not raining yet. We're supposed to get quite a lot of rain late this afternoon and uh, through the night. So I'm hoping to get this out uh, by the storage dome and get it all uh, preserved and sitting on the ground and get the snowmobile on it and get it all wrapped up. So that might be a lot to hope for for today. Uh, but we'll see what happens. At any rate, I need to get it outside. So as you can hear, I've got the tractor sitting outside the door of the shop. We're going to uh, see how awkward this is to get it onto the forks and uh, get it moved out of the way and out to where we can oil it. It is nine feet long, so and built with pretty robust lumber, so it's heavy. All right, that wasn't too bad. Well, that was easier than I expected. Okay, there we are. And as you can see, it is really built. So no fancy finishes or anything on this. We're just slathering this on. All right, folks, there is the bottom of our skid quite well coated. So next is I need to move the snowmobile. So I've got the uh, skis sitting up on top of a couple of boards. I'm gonna take them out, get the machine running and bring it over here and try to park it on this patch of snow right here. <laughs> like to turn. Oh, it 
it's going to be fun to get it on that skid. Yeah, I got to watch not to overstress the steering when doing that. Okay, we'll uh, get the we'll get the bucket back on the front and bring the tractor back through here and start trying to grade this up. So this doesn't have to be perfect or anything. I do want it to have a slope just to help make sure rain doesn't stay on top of the, uh, the skid. So we'll see what we can do here. All right, folks, I think we're pretty close. I'm going to uh, get a rake down here and see if I can rake it a little smoother. And with it being a bit on the mucky side, that's fine. That'll allow everything to settle down and kind of even the load out on it. But for now, we have to go feed some cattle. So let's take care of that first, have lunch, and then we'll get back to the fun with this. All right, folks, let's go get some hay. So everybody's waiting for me. So we won't keep them waiting too long. It's easy. And this is where it gets messy. I've got to get this thing into place. Because the tree provides great protection for it. mess so I've got down an old skid and a piece of plywood and some boards here to work as kind of a ramp so the idea is to get the snowmobile back here and just slowly bring the end around and then hopefully back it up mostly under power to uh, get it back on the skid it's going to be fun. Let's see what we can figure out here.
heavy. We're getting close. Okay. Whew. Yeah. Definitely has me wheezing. Holy mackerel. We're almost there. So I won't have to go through this again because it'll have a, a snow ramp and everything next year. It'll be much easier. Well, there she is. Wasn't that fun. Make sure the switches are all off. I'm gonna temporarily cover it, but um, I need to come back out and take the battery out of it later on. But for now, we'll get these boards and everything out of here. Once I clean this up, I, I think we're actually ready to, uh, to start the mill. Oh boy. All right, this is great. So no more having trouble with it stuck to the ground. Uh, it's going to be easy for uh, storage. I've got it under this tree, which is where I wanted it off the ground and uh, and we're in good shape. So it's an old machine, but we had some fun with it. All right, folks. So I think our next step, once I get this cleaned up, is to actually run the sawmill, get it get it up and going. Because we've, we've now got our storage, we've got the snowmobile out of the way. We're ready to, we're ready to go, but boy, mucky business. We'll have to see what happens once I start driving the tractor back and forth uh, up to the sawmill. But I've got lots of gravel up there at the sawmill. So hopefully that's going to be all right. So I think, uh, I think I'll leave you folks there with this video and then we'll pick it up when we're uh, ready to actually get the sawmill up and running and we'll see how the startup goes. So thanks very much for watching, folks. If you've been finding the uh, videos interesting, or at the very least entertaining, I would really appreciate the like, and don't forget to share it around. And I'd love to have you subscribe to the channel. That would really help. We're getting very close to that thousand mark, and uh, looking forward to hitting that. So remember to stay safe out there, be good to each other, and we will see you out on the trails the next time.